Good morning on a Central Line train, a 92 stop out here on the depth, the eastern end of uh, Zone 4 on the Central Line at Hainault. There is a project taking place right now, the Central Line Improvement Project, CLIP is the acronym, to refurbish the entire fleet of Central Line trains and they're running one in test here on the shuttle between Hainault and Woodford. There's some TFL press people here and some of the people that worked on the project. So we're going to go for a ride on the brand new train. When I say new, it's refurbished, but it seems like a new train. And there's a new maquette too, which is very exciting. The new train is about to come out of the depot. It's going to be the 1042. It's basically going to, that was on one minute, changed to two minutes. Now it's one minute again. It's going to do a shuttle run to Woodford and back. Uh, apparently the mayor's already been through this morning, but they all went to the depot over there and he's not riding the train. I've just come to ride the train, which will be pulling in any second. I can see a new maquette. There's a new maquette inside. Oh, 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 oh yes. Look at that. I'm just running down carriages because I've been told that in carriage there's some TFL press offices here. Ah, oh, here we go. In carriages two and seven. Oh, right, proper, proper priority area seating space. Ta-da, right there, first time on a central line train. That's nice. So a lady called Colette who works on the project for TFL is in the next carriage. She's currently being interviewed by some other people. I'll catch her when we get to Woodford. In the meantime, I've just got this whole carriage to myself. I've already been told. Now we know with the new Piccadilly line trains with the Holder maquette, uh, I can tell you now, sorry, with that design, it's inspired by sort of uh, Charles Holden buildings. Uh, the new maquette here is called Tuppany. Tuppany, we can officially announce that today. The press release has gone out. Uh, this is the new maquette that's been designed in-house by TFL. And what I'm told, uh, there's no sort of secret buildings or emblems in here, but the circular round shapes and the bars are apparently inspired by wheels and bogies of a train. But, you know, a lot of people get excited about new maquette, mainly me. Uh, so, uh, it's bogies. It's wheels and bogies. It's the underside of the train in the bars and circles. It's not actually a roundel. Um, Tuppany is the name of the new maquette, and I think we're about to head off around the loop to Woodford. A very good morning to you. Welcome aboard this Central Line service to Woodford. The next stop for this train will be Grange Hill. We will be departing in approximately three minutes' time. So the big thing, the big thing is... The next station is Grange Hill. The motors, the noise the train is making right now, can you hear it's different? The next station is Chigwell. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Doors will open on the left hand side. So you see there, so you've got the new orange dot matrix LED PIS system as they call it, and audio announcement. New voice of the central line is a chap called Adrian. I've been asking the press office really nicely to have an interview with him in the new year. And I'm saying this right now with the press office over there off camera. So I really hope that they're taking this as a request to Chigwell to um, have a sit down interview with Adrian in the new year to discuss Please what it's Please mind like. the gap between the train and the platform. To be this the is yes. Chigwell. Thanks, Adrian. This Adrian. is a yes. central line yes. train to Woodford. The next station is Rodin Valley. And Colette, who's sat over there, who will chat to when we get to Woodford, is telling me not only is it the next smoother, station thanks, is Adrian. Rodin Valley. This station has step free access. Doors will open on the left hand side. The main reason they refurbed the train is to put new motors in, so the acceleration is faster. It sounds different, you can feel it's not as clunky, not as bumpy, definitely smoother, but it pulls away faster. But we're just going to do Rodin Valley. Leeds U station on the whole of the underground, of course. Just poke my head out and then um, we'll chat to Colette. Let me get to Goodfoot. Okay. <laughs> See ya. Bye, Jeff. Thanks. Bye, Jeff. Love you. Happy Christmas. Thanks for coming. Happy Christmas, too. <laughs> the next station is Woodford, where this train terminates. I wonder if the kiosk that uh, serves an amazing cup of tea is still here at Woodford. I've been to Woodford for ages, we're at Woodford. And then we'll chat to Colette. Adrian, are you going to say anything? 
Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. This is Woodford, where this train terminates. Right, Change go. here for services to Central London there and we go. Epping. We're on the platform at, where are we? Woodford. Woodford Station, Colette. yeah. Hi, your name is being splashed up on screen now, oh, yeah. but you've worked on this for like the last four years? Four years. Zero. Wow. <laughs> see, see how noisy the old 92s are? That's one of the main things, right? Basically, this started out as replacing the motors on the worn out 92s, because they're now 30 years old, 40 years old? 30, 30 years, years old. old so That's yeah. how it started. Yeah. What, what else then happened? Uh, so, to, it, predominantly to make the trains more reliable and to improve the reliability of our service, then um, we looked at the compatibility of the train computer system in, and uh, thought to include that as that was nearing um, obsolescence. And, and then it started to grow and grow and more, more um, work packages and more scope was added to the programme. So primarily it was to do the computers and replace the motors, but yes. in addition you've done things like what, so lighting and CCTV and the grab rails I noticed. Something. Yes. It, does it look different? What, what's actually been updated as far as the passenger can see? So from, as from the passenger we've um, improved the rail vehicle accessibility requirements. So we've included wheelchair bays, we've yes. included new grab poles, new flooring system to demarcate and differentiate where the doors access is. Because there's legislation now that says where the door is has to be a different shade or colour to the rest of the carriage. That's is that it, to make it very, very obvious so for people. Okay. And then we've got a new passenger dot matrix system inst installed in okay. the train. This, so is, this isn't us. Any second, Alan's going to pull it. Okay, you got yeah. the, the new passenger, uh, the, the new PIS. The yes. PIS, the dot and, matrix. That, and that announces all the next station provides um, integral customer information but to you're our telling passengers. Because the central line has got these curved windows, you had to like mould and shape the PIS to fit with the curved windows, right? That's right. So our engineers had to design new brackets to be able to... <laughs> it's noise, it'd be fun. Oh, stop trying it. Right, go <laughs> to, to, insto to be able to install the new um, systems as well as uh, install all the new wiring to be able to put the new LED lighting in, the new CCTV cameras, put in the, um, and to connect the new traction system into it onto the train as well. And the new traction system does make it smarter to pull away as well as being a quieter and, and smoother ride. It is. Nice. And so they should be more reliable as well? They will definitely be so more less reliable. less breakdowns in the central line. That's, uh... um, how many <laughs> units does the central line have in total, please? It's around 80, isn't it, I think? A a 85 trains on the on, on the central line. And you're doing them, what, throughout 2024? At the moment, they're just here up at Woodford Haynor. But when will the rest of the line, when will the rest of the central line see these trains? Ne next year, okay. um, they'll, we'll start, we're aiming to start running end-to-end -end on the central line okay. um, next year. You'll, we'll have another four, we've got four trains in work at Acton, at Acton not Town, Hainel. Okay, at not Acton. at Acton, okay. and then they'll all start being introduced next year as well, and we'll be ramping up in, in 2025. Okay, so, it's amazing. I'm so going to let you go, time. but you did also off camera, she told me an amazing, this an uber nerdy fact, <laughs> because the trains are being uh, maintained at Acton, they have to get from the central line down to Acton Works Depot, which means you do that little secret curve of track round about South Ryslip between Ickenham and South Ryslip. So it goes through yeah. the depot at South Ryslip. It does. But you have to remove the trip cocks off the centre line before they go onto the pick tracks. Yes. And then put them back before, what, because they're not compatible? Because it's not compatible <laughs> with the routing and the design and the signalling works. So, yes. So, so yeah. you literally span up, take the trip cocks off, put them to one side in a plastic bag until <laughs> the train comes back up. Oh, here's our train. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. It looks all clean as well. It's clean, it's shiny. Yeah. Okay. It's and you're excited, right? Very That's excited. It. Good timing. We're going to get our train. Lovely work. to meet you. A pleasure. pleasure. Thank you. We're going to ride Thank back you. to Woodford, right? Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> I just said we're going back to Woodford, we're of course going back to Haymoor. Um, can you see here, by the seats here, the floor is one colour, and then by the door area there, the floor is now another colour. I've just been told that it's like it's a, it's a rubber lino that comes off a roller. I kind of want to go to the factory that makes the floor now and just kind of like see it happen. I need to see that. Doors will open on the left-hand side. I'm really getting used to having 
big audio announcement. It's great, it's great. And also, so note here how the grab handles are red here and here and here, because I think before the grab handles here were grey, weren't they? And note here, that silver there, as we get back to Hainault, that's a new footplate as well, which is along the edge of, uh, of all the doors on the new Central Line train. So that's it, we're back at Hainault. Uh, they're great. It feels like being on a new train again. Uh, this will give them uh, an extended life uh, span now. This will take them up to, what are we now, 2023? So this should take the Central Line trains up to about 2040 before we see any new trains on the Central Line. So yeah, it's weird to think that they're from 92. 92, 02, 12. They're already 30, 31 years old. And I think uh, this will roll back into the depot, so we'll end with a closing shot of that.